ये डायस जो है ट्रायल एंड टेस्टेड है इसीलिए मैं खड़ा हो गया पर बिजनेस से मैं आप उसी को करना चाहिए जो ट्रायल एंड टेस्टेड हो तो उसमें जोखिम की संभावना नहीं रहती है चीफ ऑफ नेवल स्टाफ डॉक्टर अजय कुमार डिफेंस सेक्रेटरी ये मिस्टर गिरधर ये हमारे न्यूली अपॉइंटेड डिफेंस सेक्रेटरी है और पहला कार्यक्रम है मिस्टर हमारे प्रेसिडेंट एस आई एम इनको मिस्टर तो मैं नहीं करता हूं मैं स्त्री कह कर उबालता हूं जिस पीछे बुलाइए और मिस्टर जम्बिका शर्मा मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर यूएसआईबीसी मिस्टर सुनील शर्मा डी जी एस आई डी सीनियर इंडस्ट्री लीडर्स फ्रॉम द यूएस इंडियन इंडस्ट्री लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन फ्रेंड्स आई एम हैप्पी टू बी प्रेजेंट इन दिस इंपॉर्टेंट सेमिनार ऑन द थीम न्यू फ्रंटियर्स इन यूएस इंडिया डिफेंस कोऑपरेशन बींग ऑर्गेनाइज बाई यूएस इंडिया बिजनेस काउंसिल and society of indian defense manufacturers let me begin by saying that defense cooperation between our countries has grown both in depth and width tremendously in recent years and we are close strategic partners and we are working to strengthen our partnership further indian defense industry is witnessing transformative changes in the past 8 years through progressive reforms and the reforms have created a conducive environment for the growth of the indian industry through transparency predictability and the institutionalization of the several measures for ease of doing business the reform has also increased foreign original equipment manufacturers to set up manufacturing units in india develop technology collaborations with indian industry and establish joint ventures in defense sector the idea is to make in india for indian market as well as export to the friendly countries that is make in india and make for the world today's seminar titled new frontier in us india defense cooperation next generation technology innovation and make in india is very relevant and i think cisim and us ivc for taking the initiative for organizing it and all the speakers from the industry who are participating in the seminar brothers and sisters the path to atmanirbhar bharat astral reliant india is a comprehensive the path to atmanirbhar bharat Astral Reliant India is a comprehensive set of policy frameworks that seeks to build indigenous technological and production capacity and capability with cooperation, participation, and collaborations with reputed foreign institutions and OEMs from friendly nations. The main objective is to fulfil the requirements of the Indian Defence Forces, and at the same time. create sustainable long term linkage to the global supply chains of the foreign oems to meet global demands through these linkages india looks forward to collaborating for a secure and resilient global supply chain for the free world to ensure uninterrupted and reliable access to defense equipment and other strategic material for our nation and our partners including the us that is given to achieve these objectives we have taken a number of steps the number of procurement categories from domestic industry has been increased to increase greater participation of the indian industry and attract foreign companies to manufacture in india and we are delighted to work with us our value partner to strengthen our commercial and strategic relationship and to attract us investment for creating a high technology defense production ecosystem in india for india collaboration with us company would be an an important strategic force multiplier 
apart from being wealth and job creator. The easing of FDI regulations and introduction of the by global manufacture in India by in defense acquisition procedure 2020 are an invitation for the US businesses to participate in the opportunity offered by the Indian defense industry. They can now set up manufacturing facilities individually or in partnership with Indian companies through a joint venture or technology agreement, etc. To capitalize on the Make in India opportunity. And I am confident that they will find India to be an attractive investment destination for defense manufacturing. Brothers and sisters, the announcement of the positive indigenization list, where a wide spectrum of equipment and systems are included, is another major step towards creating a mature defense industrial base in India. The list has also been impetus to domestic research and development by attracting fresh investment into technology and manufacturing capabilities. Friends, defense exports have been a key pillar for the long-term sustainability of the domestic defense industrial base, considering that domestic demand alone may not always provide economy of scale. With a $5 billion export target set for 2020-2025, and for the 2025, the intent of the government for export-oriented manufacturing is loud and clear. Under the auspices of the India-US Defense Technology and Trade Initiative, a project agreement to co-develop air-launched unmanned air vehicles has been a welcome development. Industries from both sides can explore additional DTTI projects such as a counter unmanned aerial system and an intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance platform, etc. Friends, USA has developed a most advanced economy of the world which is broadly attributed to the phenomenal technological progress achieved by it. I can say with confidence that the Indians have played a stellar role in technological development of USA, be it IT sector, IT sector biotechnology, space or cyber technology. Indians have also contributed in the field of the business and the finance. I must say that USA provides a very conducive environment for talent to perform and has reaped the benefits thereof. It would be appropriate for the US to expect that US business and technology leaders collaborate with the Indians to create a similar growth miracle in India. Indian talent, supported by business friendly policy of government of India, provide an exciting value proposition to US investors and partner to come and make in India and make for the world. Friends, developing new avenues to work together at the industrial, scientific and academic levels will be a key to ensuring that India and US defense ties remain dynamic. As India defense based growth Private sector companies from the United States can explore the vast potential for creating in India and exporting from India. As part of the efforts to create a global free world supply chain free from vulnerabilities and uncertainties. Friends, we look forward to taking this robust India-US business defense relationship to further heights.